Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home and today I got another Blu-ray review to do. Um, typically I've been reviewing a lot of 4K movies, but every now and then there's still a lot of great uh, boutique Blu-ray out there, especially for horror. And so what I got today, I'm really excited to add to my collection. Uh, this is The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. Uh, this is the limited edition Arrow video box set. So I'm super excited to check this out because I have the Hills Have I 1, the original box set from Arrow video. I wrote a review for that probably, God, four or five years ago now when I was writing reviews for a website and absolutely loved that release. It was one of my favorites. And so when I saw them doing Hills Have Eyes 2, I said, I I've got to pick that up. I'm a big Wes Craven fan. Right over to my right, you can't see it, but there's a uh, picture of him on my wall, 8x10, signed by him. Absolutely love Wes Craven stuff, and so Hills Have Eyes 2, absolute must-have for me. And the good folks at MVD, uh, Clint at MVD was uh, nice enough to send this out. They are the North American uh, distributor for Arrow Video. As you know, Arrow Video is a uh, company located in the UK, so there's this company called MVD Entertainment, and uh, they take care of all the Arrow video stuff in the US. So it's really cool I work with him. He was able to send this out to me. I'm excited to check out the new 2K transfer um, from the original negative. Check out the mono audio track. Those are always very interesting because they're only using one channel. And dive into all these different special features and goodies that come in this really cool box set. So it's be a pretty quick video today. Uh, we're just gonna run through this box set. I'll unbox it for you, talk about the transfer, and that'll be about it. I'll recommend if it's worth a purchase or not. So let's jump into number one, the visuals. So as I said, um, the visuals on this, they are a brand new remaster. So it's a 2K transfer, 2K, not 4K, 2K transfer, still very well done. And it's based off the original camera negatives. So we're going from film, a film negative, straight to disc with a new 1080p Blu-ray. And let me tell you folks, it looks great. So there is another release of The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, which is why it's sort of interesting to check out this transfer versus that one. The other release came from Kino Lorber, and they're another boutique Blu-ray uh, provider. They do a lot of good stuff, but sometimes they just put out older titles and they don't necessarily do a full remaster. There are some titles they've done great remasters on. Nosferatu is one, uh, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari is another one. They've done a great job with some old horror, but their Hills Have I too, it was always sort of lacking. And so compared to that, this new transfer from Arrow Video, it is better. It's 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 much more detailed. You're coming from an original negative. I'm not sure how the Kino one was done, but in my comparison, I can tell that this one was done uh, better. Whether it's better elements that were used, uh, there was a better transfer, whatever it may be. The visuals here are you know pretty rough. Um, it, it is a film from the early 80s. Um, this uh, Wes Craven did this right before he did Nightmare on Elm Street. So think about that same time period you're working with, you know, and, and it's a horror movie. So and a horror movie sequel at that. And this is before Wes Craven, you know, was Wes Craven, you know, Hills Have Eyes, uh, Last House on the Left, like those were big. But Nightmare on Elm Street is where he really kind of blew up and then Scream, in my opinion, is where he took off and really got widespread recognition. And so, you know, the budget he's working with here is a little low. You can tell that. Um, there are There's a lot of grain, a lot of graininess. There are some rough uh, visuals. There are some, you know, marks and scuffs and dirt on the film. But that's a part of getting an older movie. And overall, the transfer was really well done. Um, it's as good as it's going to look. There isn't, you know, like I said, there's been another Blu-ray I could compare it to. I have a DVD version of it. This blows them both away. It's not even a question. Um, Arrow Video does great work with these. That Their remastering transfer video team is is so good. High quality stuff. Uh, huge, huge props to them. But this is a really, really nice release. They did a great job with the visuals, so I was really happy to see that. If you're expecting a really smooth digital picture, just know you're not going to get that here. It's film. It's grainy. It's 30 plus years old. God, it's almost... It's almost 40 years old at this point, doing the math in my head. Um, it's at least 35 years old. And so it's just, it's an old movie. It is what it is. I actually think this is the 35th anniversary. I think it was just 1984. So this would be 35 years um, today. Or not, not today, but this year. 
And so you just got to keep that in mind. When you're looking at this and you say, ooh, new 2K transfer, it's not going to look like John Wick 3 looks. It's not going to look like Avengers Endgame looks. It's going to look like something like Bridge in the River Kwai looked. Even that had a higher budget, so that'll look a little bit better. I think it looked a lot like Close Encounters, if you've seen that 4K release. Again, similar time period. Um, you know, that was Spielberg. This is Wes Craven. So Wes Craven's stuff, you know, just by nature, looks a little rougher because he's making these, you know, kind of gritty horror movies. But the cool thing about Hills Have Eyes 2, if you've seen it, um, I don't know what came first, if it was Evil Dead 2 or Hills Have Eyes 2, but one of the two stole their idea from, um, you know, each other, whether it was Sam Raimi or uh, Wes Craven, because... The Hills Have Eyes Part 2 is a lot more fun and goofy and laid back. It doesn't take itself as seriously as the first one, which is really cool. Evil Dead 2 does the same thing with uh, versus Evil Dead. So I'm wondering if that was just sort of the trend. Who did that first? I want to say these came out very, very close in time, like almost the same year, 1984. I'd have to look up Evil Dead 2, but it's something I thought of while watching it. Um, but visuals are great. So if you're looking for the best copy of this on Blu-ray today... Um, I did compare it to the other Blu-ray available. There may also be, I think there might be like an old Mill Creek or uh, somebody else budget Blu-ray studio did one of these. This is by far better than both of those. So this is the one you're gonna wanna grab. Now for audio, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a strong center channel because this is just a mono audio track. Mono meaning 1.0. Now it is the original mono track, which is really nice. They haven't messed with Wes Craven's, you know, sound directing at all and the composers and the, the score and the sound mixing guys behind the scenes. It's all contained here. It's the uncompressed original mono audio track. But what it means is you're only getting audio out of one channel. So it's not even a 2.0. Your left and right uh, channels, they're not going to do a damn thing. It's going to be your center channel 1.0 all day. And so a lot of people, um, you know, I think you have good center channels if you're serious about home theater because that's that's your main driver, that's your dialogue, that's your main point of reference. I know that mine um, mine is all from SVS Sound, my SVS Sound Prime center speaker. It's a tank, it probably weighs like 30 pounds. It's you know the size of a, a boom box, but it did a great job with this track and I thought it was pretty clear for a mono track. You know, dialogue was clear, um, sound effects, you know, you're not getting a lot of surround sound, you're not getting any in fact. So you're just dealing with what the what the center track can handle. But you know, there is a little bit of, you know, oh, left to center, right to center. It's a good mix and it is uncompressed and original. So you're gonna hear some snaps, crackles and pops, Rice Krispie treats all over this thing. But it is what it is. It's like listening to a vinyl record. You know, you're gonna get some of those kind of old snaps and things that come with, um, you know, older audio. I know that vinyl creates some of the cracks and pops too because of the, the way it is. but. You, know, you, you get that with old recordings as well. And so you'll, you'll hear a little bit of that here, but it's kind of cool. It's like seeing it for the first time in theaters. You know, you're getting this awesome transfer. You're like, you're watching it on a film reel. You're getting the original audio 1.0, you know, original mono track that you would have got at the theater back in the 80s. And it's just a really cool experience. And so if you appreciate horror and you appreciate classic movies, I think you'll really appreciate this Blu-ray release. And so in terms of visuals and audio alone, this is well worth the purchase. Arrow Video's done it again. This is just as good, if not better, than their Hills Have Eyes uh, original box set. Now, if we wanna dive a little bit into the box set, again, here's your artwork on the front. Love it, really cool stuff. Love their spines, cool artwork on the back. Um, and then on the inside, oh, one thing I should note, Arrow Video box sets, way tougher cardboard than a lot of people use. They use like a real high quality uh, paper weight. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's it's always high quality. It's, it's got a nice like matte finish to it. I don't know, I really like their box sets. Then you've got, uh, you've got your disc here. Uh, it does have reversible artwork and there are also a few postcards on the inside, which are pretty cool. And then you've got your uh, disc art here and the reversible artwork. If I just pull this up, you'll see that. So you can flip that, um, you can do whatever you want. You can go with the Arrow video or you can go with sort of the original box art. Um, there's also a 40 page booklet. So this is really cool, full of you know essays and stuff. It says here on the back who actually wrote them. Oh, new writing on the film by Amanda Reyes. So I'm not sure who she is. Um, but, you know, it has all kinds of stuff about, um, you know, the film itself, the cast. Um, it has an on-set 
um, sort of retrospective from uh, Fangoria. So if you like Fangoria on the set, The Hills Have Eyes 2, this is written by a Fangoria writer, um, by Johnny Legend from Fangoria, issue 37, July 1984. So that is when Hills Have Eyes 2 came out, it was 84. Um, and this is the original article from that magazine. So that's really cool because you're not going to find many Fangoria, you know, magazines from 1984 sitting around. And then you also have what I loved about The Hills Have Eyes 1, and that is this awesome fold-out poster. Um, you can go this way with the Arrow video artwork or flip it around. And I personally, I don't know, I might go with this one because this is kind of cool. This is the original artwork. Uh, hopefully you can see that in the frame, but super cool stuff. It's just folded up right in the case. Um, I, I love the effort that Arrow Video puts into their stuff with a 40-page booklet, a beautiful box set, new artwork commissioned, you know, a, a great 8x10 or whatever this is poster. I don't know if it's 8x10. It might not be. Uh, it's probably a little bigger than that, actually. It's probably more like 16 by 24 I wonder if it says on here. It doesn't say, but pretty big poster. All those postcards, it all fits in this little... Neat little box set, which I really like. Now, special features wise, let me just read off what you've got here. Um, you've got a brand new audio commentary with The Hysteria Continues. I'm not sure who that is. Maybe it's like a podcast or something. You've got Blood, Sand, and Fire, The Making of The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. It's a making of documentary with interviews with producer Peter Locke, actor Michael Berryman, who you know, he's got a very distinctive face. Uh, he's in uh, Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2. Janice Blythe, production, production designer, Dominic Bruno, the composer, the first assistant director, uh, also a still gallery, the original theatrical trailer, um, and then you have the um, all the different, the reversible sleeve, the postcards. So there's a full documentary on here, you know, audio commentaries, interviews, all kinds of really cool stuff. So overall, another slam dunk from Arrow Video. I highly recommend it. These box sets are worth every penny. They're usually around 25, 30 bucks, um, but they do go fast. That's the thing with these. They are limited edition, and they mean that when they say that. In a few months, the only way you'll be able to get The Hills Have Eyes 2 is you'll have this case here. They'll keep selling this. They'll keep selling the Blu-ray, but your box set is not going to be available anymore with the poster and everything else. So um, I know there have been a few I had to buy used. Bride of Reanimator was one. They're not cheap when you buy them used. You're actually better off buying them brand new because they go up in price once they go out of stock. Um, so I recommend grabbing this soon, uh, grabbing it now and not waiting, or you're going to pay a premium on eBay later. And But I do recommend grabbing it. Great audio, great visuals, great packaging, great features, and great overall release again from Arrow Video. I'm super excited to add this to my Arrow Video collection. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick review. Love Arrow Video. Shout out to their stuff. I will leave a link to their website down in the description if you want to check them out. If you're in the UK, I'll also leave a link to the UK site. They have some great, great stuff. If you're in the US, you can get it on Amazon as well. And places like Bull Moose, one of my favorite stores, they always carry, uh, carry Arrow Video stuff and usually have some pretty good deals on so check you know your local video stores as well family video also has good deals on arrow video titles so make sure you support your local stores check them sometimes they have really good deals uh, and support arrow video with the purchase i do recommend it and if you haven't jumped into their stuff yet you're missing out uh, check out my arrow video collection uh, video because that's a really good way to get started get some ideas but that's it for this one uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys soon with more content.